Well, hello everyone, I got here another Bible review for you. This is a new ESV Diadem Reference Edition, Cambridge just put out. And this will be coming out also in all other major translations. This is a, basically an enlargement of the classic and elegant text uh, design of the Pit Minion edition. I don't know if you are aware of it, but this is, uh, this is a Pit Minion. Uh, just stamped this myself. Uh, this is a New King James actually, which is a small Bible. It is a small Bible, okay? And the text is also pretty small, as you can see here, but it's readable. Even though it's very small, the, the, the font style, the way it's laid out, everything here makes this a very appealing Bible. And it's a full Bible actually, it's not just a New Testament, you got the full Bible here, okay? So what they've done is they have enlarged this Bible. Just put it here beside. It hasn't been it has been enlarged by 20%, basically, to give us a much to give us a larger uh, uh, font and uh, readability without compromising the actual uh, let's say compact edition of it. So. The text here is arranged in a paragraph format and is supported by a center column uh, cross-references. It has also a comprehensive concordance and 15 color maps. The cover, these are the uh, hardback editions. The leather-bound editions will be coming next year, uh, early next year, as far as I know. Now, this edition is going to come with an option with Apocrypha and one without the Apocrypha, so you can choose. Uh, these Bibles are going to be identical besides the the cover which is a uh, different design but the thickness is also you can see there a bit different and that is due to the fact that this one has the apocrypha included so so i'm gonna take the i'm gonna take this off and uh, so you can see what the hardback covers really look like very stylish it's an imitation, it looks like a, a, a kind of leather, uh, calfskin kind of, but it's not, it's just stamped into this leather soft type of uh, um, cover, it's a higher back as you can see, but it's nice and it's, uh, you can see here the, the interior, it's a vinyl, but it also imitating the, the, the leather effect, as you can see here, that's very nice, I really like it. So. Let's take a look at this. Now, these are identical besides the fact that one has the Apocrypha and one it doesn't. So, I'm just going to focus on one of them. So, as you can see, it has a very clean cover. It has like a crown here, like a diadem of the Christ, Holy Bible, bold gold stamping. And on the spine, we're going to have Holy Bible, ESV logo, English Standard Version which is a diadem reference with Apocrypha and Cambridge stamped right at the bottom. It comes with one, two and three ribs on the spine. It's a clean spine and the, the back is just plain navy blue cover. It comes with one uh, double sided side and, uh, ribbon, as you can see there. And the head and tail bands also come with uh, a brown and kind of gold colors. This one doesn't have any gold or silver stamping on the uh, paper, it's just a hardback edition, uh, but the leather bound editions that are coming next year will be uh, all edge lined and also paste down editions with leather covers. Those will come with gold uh, gilding on the pages. So let's take a look at this. This is indeed the Holy Bible English Standard Version, containing the Old and New Testaments with Apocrypha, Cambridge University Press. And this one is being printed, okay, and bound in Belarus by Print Corp. Interesting. You can see that this is the 2016 text edition of the ESV. And here we got the table of contents, which comes with a Books of the Bible and Apocrypha in alphabetical order, uh, preface to the English Standard Version, the Apocrypha, a list of all the New Testament and Hasmonean rulers, 
table of weight and measurements. Now this paper feels good, feels good. It's, it's not too rough, it's not too soft, but it feels quality and uh, easy to turn. It's very easy to turn, I like it. Minimal ghosting. Now this text block is smite sewn, which means that these pages are uh, sewn into the spine. Okay, for durability and you can see here how clear this text is I love the crispness of this text the the, the, the pit minion I already liked a lot for such a small Bible how readable that was but now this is a step up step up I really like it this to me is the sweet spot of a Bible size I don't know it's just for me this is my perfect this is what I would love all the Bibles to be this is just uh, the, the, the perfect size in my eyes uh, I really like uh, the way this looks and uh, here's a comparison okay one text next to the other this is way way larger than this and if this was okay for me to read, this one I cannot tell you. It's just, just, it's just amazing. Now, it's not a large font by any means. Don't get me wrong. This is actually a 8.1 point lexicon font, and uh, so it's not a large font, okay? Uh, but it is very clear, very crisp, and easy in the eye, uh, which I think is is uh, all you want. Now, this is a very portable edition of it, of this Bible. It's a uh, 212 millimeters tall, 149 millimeters wide, and uh, as you can see here in the poetic section, there is a uh, very minimal ghosting. Uh, it's not distracting at all. I really like this paper. I think this could be a great candidate for a rebind if you like, for example, full yap or or getting fancy with all the letters and. Uh, the only thing is this one doesn't have uh, gold or, or silver on the edges so you, this will have to probably be like a plain die maybe on, on the sides and maybe rounding the corners here but this would be a great option for a rebind uh, these editions are black letter so if we go to the New Testament here we're gonna see that it's just plain black which is my uh, preference per se look at that that's it's the, the, the print is consistent all throughout the, this Bible I haven't found any part of this Bible that fades away or it has a lighter black I, I just it's just perfect and here we have in between the Old and New Testament as you can see here's the Apocrypha and I'm gonna show you how big this is so this is the beginning of the apocrypha we have here after malachi okay and then the new testament so basically this is the apocrypha this is the extra amount of pages that you have from the other edition and then at the back we're going to have A very nice concordance three page three column sorry three column concordance uh, here we go and also look at that is a very dense concordance and I think this could be a perfect Bible for carrying anywhere. You got plenty of references. You got the apocrypha. You got an excellent concordance. You got all the uh, textual notes down the bottom as well, uh, and then you got all these Cambridge maps with the map index also. Okay, look at that information there, and look at these maps. I love the fact that this is printed in matte thick paper rather than. A glossy cardstock. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I, I much prefer this to be printed in this type of uh, thicker paper. Amazing. Well done. You can see here all the stitches from this mite zone. Text block. 
and uh, comes with one and two pages and then wow very thick very thick liner here look at that it's very thick and that's this so I am impressed I really like this I really like this edition I am looking forward the leather editions but have to say this could be the perfect everyday carry Bible for me uh, I'm seriously thinking of uh, getting this one rebound uh, and you know getting like a personalized uh, because I just enjoy so much this text and I love the size of it I'm gonna leave a direct link to these Bibles in case you would like to purchase them and uh, again here is uh, the original pit minion next to them such a, a, a great uh, uh, option in the family of, uh, of Cambridge this is the new King James this is the ESV but uh, these ones will come out in all the different translations and I have to mention that the leather ones will have the red letter tags rather than the black one like this ones so that's all for today thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and you have any questions you can drop a line down below on the comment section and I'll be very happy to help you out if I can I'm looking forward to seeing you in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.